What's going on, Crypto Fam? I hope y'all having a wonderful, 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 wonderful afternoon. Um, so pretty much, I'm getting straight to it. Vitalik Buterin, for, and uh, for those who don't know, he's like the co-founder of another cryptocurrency called Ethereum. He also is the person who had, at the time, he had 50%, 50% of the Shiba Inu coins. Uh, they were just gifted to him, like the creator of Shiba Inu just gave him 50%. Uh, and he pretty much, he gave... 5% to which was which was actually worth $1 billion at the time to um, India to help with the COVID relief fund and then he put 41% 41% okay like over $6 billion worth of Shiba Inu coins he he sent them to like a dead address like whenever whenever like cryptocurrency creators they want to like uh, send certain like cryptos to an address that they can't get back they send it to something called a burn address so he sent 41% of the Shiba Inu coins to the burn address and for those who don't know when you do that you make the supply less and when you make the supply of coins less it's easier to, to raise the value because less coins equals more demand right you know less of a supply equals more of a demand so this man literally just flushed down a bunch of he just flushed down billions of dollars to help the Shiba Inu army okay so this man is a legend, legend. Um, I just found this video where he's talking about like why he did it, I guess, and just, um, I guess, how he feels about the whole situation. I haven't even watched it yet. This is my first time watching it, first reaction. So I'm just watching it with you guys, and uh, let's just jump into it. Put this on uh, full screen. Uh, Mr. everybody calls it Izzy. Um, but like, I think a question on uh, a lot of people's minds these days is if you're a cat person or a dog person. I'm trying to figure out who's um, talking right now. <laughs> no, but... In, in a more serious sense, I think, uh, you know, the thing that oh, happened the recently with uh, the really gracious donations that you made. He's a dog um, person. The various causes that are both connected to Ethereum as a whole, um, but the idea of creating, you know, a community out of cryptocurrency and supporting the growth of, of humanity, helping people in need and all of those things um, is a really interesting, like, effect and event in the crypto space. Very and I think it would be great if you could maybe tell us a little bit about what informed your decision. Um. Sure. Uh, so, you know, th th there's definitely this kind of like very fun uh, background story that happened, uh, you know, in the few days before I yeah, kind of gave uh, I gave all of those tokens out. Like basically, you know, Dogecoin had uh, existed for a long time, and just like Dogecoin by itself is just so interesting because you know it started off as a complete joke, um, but then over time the joke became. Uh, like, the joke just turned into this coin and it had value and it's just so fascinating that um, you know you just can create a form of uh, currency that's just around um, you know the idea of like hey you know like this is a cute dog and let's like turn make something fun out of it uh, and I actually bought some Dogecoin back when it was uh, still fairly uh, fairly new uh, yeah um, this is my first time hearing them talk about uh, it but way. then uh, recently of course um, you know Doge just like increased in value a huge amount and like, it did. I'm not it sure did. exactly like I think it's uh, a combination of things like enough people got interested and then you know at some point Elon Musk started talking about it and that's you know it's now it's like a 55 billion dollar coin which is just like crazy uh, <laughs> but then people started creating these other dog coins and for some reason people started like putting a huge part of the supply of these dog coins into my wallet um so <laughs> you know people started telling me about this and i thought you know this was uh, very strange it's actually <laughs> not the first time that people put coins into my wallet uh, so um, sometime about six months ago, there was uh, there was this project called Teller. I think it was like a, a chain link competitor or something like that, and they just like put about fifty thousand dollars worth of their coin into my wallet that they had. Um, you know, their Marines on Twitter uh, say like, "Hey, look, Vitalik holds our coins. He supports our project." And then when I found out about this, I just like sold it on uh, Uniswap and then I gave it to some crypto project. Um, but <laughs> no, the, 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 the dog people were were a bit were actually more clever. And they yeah. sent their half their half of the supply to my cold wallet, right? And it's a cold wallet, and so. You know, because especially just because of the travel restrictions, it's like actually non like non trivial for me to access it, right? Like because it's oh. uh, you know it contains like oh, a huge uh, a, a huge bunch of ETH that needs to be secure and all of those things. Mm. And so at some point when I just saw it, you know these dog points had a huge amount of uh, amount of value, and 
I, uh, there was, there, there clearly was an opportunity to just like actually turn this into something that could actually be good for people, right? Like, I think it's uh, important yeah. for us in the crypto space to not like just even got, like take active steps to make sure that crypto isn't just about you know watching numbers go up and hoping your number goes up faster than the other team's number goes up exactly. but actually kind of turn it into something that really benefits people uh, yeah. and you know well, like well, with these dog points as well right like if uh, you like if I did nothing, then you know that bubble would pop. But then at some point there would be other do um, other dog coins, and you know maybe cat coins, maybe um, you know three headed rabbit coins. I don't know what people <laughs> come up with. Um, uh, but I, I just like realized um, that you know there's this opportunity to do something really to do something really valuable with these coins and so i started like basically scrambling to set up a new secure multi-sig wallet for my uh, for my funds and that itself was a story it took a fairly uh, it took a fairly long time um at one point um i actually even got banned from the gnosis safe discord because they thought i was a scammer um <laughs> but the, the band hammer then i like after about forty-eight hours, I did me uh, like I, I, and after just like working nonstop to you know set up this wallet and like triple check it, audit the code, make sure people can uh, make sure you can actually do withdrawals. I then uh, you know called up some uh, fam uh, the uh, some family members, did a whole bunch of I incredibly crazy cypherpunk stuff, asked them to like read out some magic numbers to me, and the. Um, and then I, I I got this private key out and like I actually did manage to like move my well first of all move my ETH to another address and then you know I had this account that had all these dog coins and I figured like okay well there's all of these valuable causes let's like you know sell some uh, some of the dog coins immediately just to make sure that some value gets it. Uh, I can come out of it, and yeah, man. I gave it out to some of these uh, charities that I supported for a really long time. Um, so, like, I've always really believed in, you know, there's all of these effective altruist causes. Like, there's this uh, groups of smart people that just work really hard to find opportunity. The like, what really? Whoa! No, what happened? To help. And bad for he. It's the YouTube video, by the way, yeah. Um, in the past before, uh, but so that was my first big... Oh, yeah, yeah, and <clears throat> also these other, and like, more speculative things like uh, life extension research uh, the uh, of the um, MIRI, the AI safety group, and then, of course, uh, you know, the uh, crypto COVID efforts, just because like, the, the COVID situation in India is one of those cases where there's just a lot of really bad stuff happening it is like, of, right it's, now, it's, it's and so there's a lot of need to just like, very quickly um, support the people that are like basically trying to um, make sure that people that, that people that are like basically trying to um, make sure that people that that people there die of COVID was and like Sandeep and his team have done a so far great job of just kind of you know putting uh, putting their effort together and actually start uh, and making a big difference yeah, the there. They, they even managed to, to like I think line, get some uh, uh, you know, some help, oxygen this, this, this cold from stuff get down. Kuwait or some like some kind of fairly impressive uh, kind of, like international effort that they mentioned on their Twitter about uh, about a week and a half ago so again that's what happens like I uh, I will admit that you know everything did happen fairly quickly so this is not the sort of thing that you know I even had time to kind of like put weeks into but you know <laughs> it is what it is um, I will say that I actually am impressed by like how the dog coin communities have handled it I uh, like there was some time that I was worried that, um, you know, if these people are just uh, gamblers, then they would end up uh, like just being very unhappy. Like, hey, what you know, what, what the hell? I'm just here to make money. Why are what, why are you suddenly attaching my coin to um, selfish people, man? You know, effective altruism or idea or whatever. But 
I was actually impressed. Like, I think like there was a bit of that, but there was even more just people that are, that were like even grateful that they yes not a, that you know now they're part of this like big charity effort to help of people. Of course, man. Uh, so. I thought that important. was interesting, I and mean, I think you know we are going to have meme coins, and if those meme coins can be about these kind of nice, warm, uplifting memes about helping people, then like that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I agree. Like Legend. the way that the narrative was kind of usurped from being a, a profit chasing meme coin, um, and then like you say, some of these um, dog coins turned around and, and embraced the the altruistic aspect of it um, is really like a, a positive thing. Um, so Definitely. yeah, a- apart from maybe the weird some weird DMs you're getting from people, it's probably a net positive. Um, I think so. Yeah, probably one of like the, the biggest questions on people's minds is uh, when merge. But I'm guessing Tim is going to be able to give us some details on that a bit later when he talks about the roadmap. Um, but I think I also kind of wanted to pick your brain and also Tim's uh, on a more general sense and maybe more medium term. What do you think are the biggest challenges that Ethereum faces in the in the future? Not necessarily, you know, like getting all the technical bugs in a row to make the merge happen. Oh, the video just ended. Man, legend, man. I wish I wish I was in this meeting, man. I feel like everybody kind of just, you know, everybody just kind of calm, like, mm, okay. Yeah, mm. I would have been like, I would have been in, I would have been in there like, yo, man. Yo, Vitalik, man, you are a legend, man. Do, do you understand this, man? You are a legend, man. You just you, you sent a billion dollars worth of Shiba coins over there to to India to help with the COVID relief fund, man. It's like you you you, you pretty much you pretty much helping the Shiba army. I'd have been like, man, you. I'd have been like, yo, yo, man of the year, man in the year, right? Here. <laughs> Not even man of the year. Like for what he did is just like forever. Like I will I will forever forever remember what he did, because I mean like for those who don't know, like he's the uh, he's the co-founder of Ethereum. Ethereum is pretty much like the number two. Um, most valued like uh well most popular sorry cryptocurrency in the crypto world and but when it comes to him like th- this is literally the first time i'm ever hearing him even speak like i've i've like lately like the past like i would say like a few months i've seen pictures of him i'm like oh okay he's the co-founder okay heard he like uh heard he came out with uh let's see when did he come out with ethereum uh, it says in 2014 buterin launched ethereum with gavin wood so uh he's 27 right now so what six seven seven years so so he was 20 years old he was 20 like 19 20. um and yeah like this is the first time i like me even hearing his voice and like he's so low-key with it like <laughs> you know how some people like okay like you got like elon musk like he's you know he he we, we know he loves dogecoin he's talking about dogecoin when it comes to vitalik buterin like he's just like super super like just low-key uh i don't know it's like he just he just kind of keeps to himself and you know, and he just he just do his own thing. Now nah, he this dude is awesome, man. This dude is awesome. He gives my full full amount of respect. And um, yeah, bro, like that's what he did was just amazing, man. Definitely going. It definitely goes down in the cryptocurrency history, world history book. Okay, the cryptocurrency world history book. We got it. We got a stamp. Vitalik Buterin, my man, donated a billion dollars worth of Shiba coins. He gave he got rid of forty percent of the coins, um, the Shiba coins. So like. Because he got rid of so many of those coins, he got rid of so many of them. Like now, it's it's less of a supply, which also helps us, you know, um, get to that that higher price goal that we want to take Shiba, you know, um, to. So, big hat man, like this, oh my goodness, man, this 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 man is this this man is the real deal, man. Totally respect him. Totally respect him. Um, very awesome, man. Very awesome, man. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be buying me some Ethereum 2.0 when when it, when they come out with it because. It, I, the way he is, the way the, the things he believe in, I already know 2.0. Ethereum is, I mean, a lot, I feel like a lot of people don't like Ethereum because like the gas fees could be high sometimes, but Ethereum is still a cool cryptocurrency. Dude. I, like, I feel like people still know Ethereum is still dope. Okay, it's still dope. The only thing about the gas fees, but I, I believe when Ethereum 2.0 comes out, then that's when you know that like the gas fees I, I believe would be like um, cheaper or something like that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this, man. This is this is pretty cool to see. Um, I have a lot more videos to um, to get to, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna upload this, um, start my other videos, probably go for a walk, and I, I do want to stream tonight. I do want to stream tonight. I'm not sure if I am, but I do want to stream tonight. All right, I love chilling with you guys, love hanging with you guys, talking to you guys about you know just this things that's going on in the crypto world, and and not even just things in the crypto world. Like we can talk about anything, you know. And um, yeah, thank you guys. Yo, we hit. Let me show you guys. We hit. How many how many subscribers have you hit? 
I think we hit like 4,000 subscribers. We're growing pretty fast, y'all. 4,978 subscribers. Almost 5,000. Like, almost 5,000. Come on. This is crazy. And by the way, guys, I do plan on doing cash giveaways and stuff. Um, I also did get partnered. Um, thank you guys all for that. I actually have a separate video just, you know, talking about that. And thank you all for just, you know, this incredible support. But we got partnered uh, close to 5,000 subscribers. Uh, and we're, we're just moving up. We're moving up with Shiba, all right? Moving up with Shiba. Um, I do want to talk about other cryptos, too, because I feel like there's a lot of other, like, diamond, Chris, like, like really good uh, cryptos that have a really good potential. And, you know, it's not only Shiba. I, I, we love, I love Shiba, but it, there, there's also other ones, all right? Also other ones. It just gives them more of a chance to, you know, get to go to the moon. But, like I said, I love y'all. I'll catch y'all soon. I'm going to post this real quick, and then I'll see y'all later. Stay safe. Peace and blessings to you all. Catch you soon.